Hello and welcome to Toya and Stitches. I'm Toya. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these quick and easy little washcloths using the crunch stitch and we're also going to be adding a little hanging loop as well. To make your washcloth you need some worsted weight cotton yarn. I am using the Lion Brand 24-7 Mercerized Cotton but you can use unmercerized cotton if that's what you prefer and for me I'm using a four millimeter hook but you just go ahead and grab the corresponding hook for the yarn you're using you're also going to need a tapestry needle measuring tape and some scissors so grab your supplies and let's get started all right so the crunch stitch is worked over a even number of stitches so a multiple of two and then add one so for my washcloths i like them to be eight eight inches by eight inches so for me that is chaining 33 and ending with 32 stitches so if you would like your washcloth to be bigger just chain more if you want it to be smaller chain a little bit less just make sure it's an even number of stitches and then we'll add one for the foundation chain so i'm going to start by chaining 33 so i'm going to make a slip knot insert my hook in that little loop and then I'm going to chain 33. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now I have my chain of 33 chains and we're going to start by single crocheting in the second chain from the hook. So not this one, this one, but I'm going to be working into the bottom bump on the back there. And I do that so that when you're finished with your washcloth, your edges look the same. So skip the first chain and work into the bottom bump of the second chain from your hook. So you're going to insert your hook under that little bump, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook. So you've single crocheted in the first chain and now you're going to work a double crochet in the sec in the next chain. So yarn over, insert your hook under the bottom bump yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so now you've worked one single crochet one double crochet and that's what you're going to do along the length of your chain you're going to do single double single double all the way across so our next stitch is going to be a single so insert yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and then yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're gonna keep doing that all the way across, working a single crochet, then a double crochet until you get to the end of your chain. All right, so I'm just finishing up my row one. I'm gonna work my final two stitches single crochet and then finish off with a double crochet. All right, so now for row two, you're gonna chain one and turn and you're gonna do the same thing you did in row one. You're gonna go single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, all the way across the row. Just ensure that you're working single crochets into the tops of double crochets and then double crochets into the single crochets from the previous row, just to ensure you get even texture throughout your washcloth. So for our first stitch, we're gonna single crochet into the top of the double crochet from the previous row. So single, and then a double crochet into that single crochet. And then we're gonna repeat that single, and then double crochet, 
and you're going to do that all the way across. All right, so now we're done with row two, and then now we're going to move on to row three. So for row three to about row 26, which would give me eight inches. So for my washcloth, I work 26 rows. But if you're going bigger, just work to your desired size. And you're just going to continue with row two, alternating single crochets and double crochets all the way across each row until you get to the size that you desire. And then once you've reached your desired size or you get to row 26, you come back in and I'll show you how to add the hanging loop. All right, so I'm done with my washcloth. I've worked my 26 rows. So now it's time for us to add the loop. All right, so at the end of your last row, you're just going to chain 11. All right, so once you've chained 11, then we're going to work slip stitches back down our chain. So I'm not gonna work into that first chain, I'm gonna slip stitch into the second one. So I'm just gonna insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull that loop through the loop on my hook. And again, insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull that loop through the loop on my hook and I'm just going to continue doing that all the way down the chain. Once you've worked all your slip stitches, you'll come right back down to the top of your last stitch. And what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook into the side of that stitch. So when you turn it sideways, you're just going to insert your hook under those two loops. You're going to drop your yarn for a second, grab the top of your chain. And then you're going to insert your hook into the top under, so you can catch two loops, just under two loops at the very top of your little chain there. And then you're going to grab your yarn and then you're going to work a slip stitch through all five loops on your hook. So it can get a little tricky, so just take your time and pull through the first two, second two, and then through that very last loop. Tighten it up and then work a final stip, slip stitch to secure it. All right, and then I have already cut my yarn. You'll cut your yarn and just pull it all the way through and then you will be done. So from this point, all you have to do is weave in your ends and you will be all done. Quick little washcloth with a nice little loop to use to hang it up. And that's it, you're all done. There is also a free pattern for this washcloth on my blog. I will leave a link to it down in the description. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you would like to see more. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care and bye for now.